Hi, I'm Erin from Jack Audio Visual and today I'll be walking you through the Promethean whiteboard. So flicking up from the bottom to our unified menu and tapping on the whiteboard icon brings up our whiteboard. And as you can see, I've got my toolbar on the left here. If I want to move that to the right side, I can tap the three dots at the top and then press change toolbar position. Then going into our pen tool, you have the ability to change the size, so you might want it to be fine or large, and then you can use 20 points of touch. So you can get different students up here collaborating at the same time. You've also got your highlighter tool and all your different colors, more colors if you need them, and then your maths tools. So going into your maths tools here gives you a few different options. We might go into the ruler. You can make it as large or as small as you want and you can easily draw a line. It snaps to the side of the ruler, so it's not fiddly, and then just press the X. Then we can use the protractor, and this one's the same. You can make it as large or as small as you want. You can move around the angles, and you can change the functionality. See this little red dot in the middle here? If we tap that, that's gonna give me a different functionality. So at the moment, I've got line, now I'm going around the outside, tap it again, and that's gonna give me fill. And that's a nice way to draw angles and shapes and incorporate them into your lesson. Next, we have the mouse tool. So this one just gives us the ability to manipulate the active panel whiteboard. It's an everlasting whiteboard. So if you filled up your space on this screen, you can easily just move it out the way without disrupting the flow of the lesson. And you can also see up in that corner where your content is so you can easily bring it back down if you need to use it again. This icon is the Promethean Gallery and here we have all the preloaded charts and templates from Promethean. So this is exciting because we have the periodic table and you can just bring that in with the tap of a finger and then start annotating over the top. And if you want to, you can move that out the way and you can see it's paired my annotations with the image. It's very intuitive and recognizes that. And then I might want to bring in a mind map. Just move it over here. And then if I go into charts and templates again, but select gallery, this is all my images. So images I've downloaded off the internet, images that we've got on a USB will show up here in this space for you to access. And you can just easily bring them in to your whiteboard. You can start talking about Harry Potter. Grids and guides, we've got a selection of grids here. You can choose whichever one you'd like and then you can change the color. You can change the background and you can also make it larger or smaller depending on who you're teaching. And then we have dual user mode. So if you tap dual user mode, you'll get two little toolbars down here divided. And it just means two students can come up and collaborate at the same time, um, comparing work and solving problems and they can use their own tools as well. The save icon here, if you press that, it'll give you the ability to save your whiteboard to the internal storage as a Promethean whiteboard document. So you can save that and then once you've saved it, you'll be able to reopen the file at a later date and start interacting with it again in its original file format. If you tap on the three dots, you'll get export PDF screenshot and export PDF canvas. Canvas is your all your content on your everlasting whiteboard and PDF screenshot is just this frame here. So if you just wanna export this frame, press export PDF screenshot. And all of the cloud-based storage apps you've downloaded, including Bluetooth and also save to device, which is USB, will show up here for you to export to. And then we have new, and this basically just clears the whiteboard for you, gives you a fresh start. Just make sure you save your documents before doing it. I might want to open a document that I've saved before, such as this one. It's a good way to prepare your lessons before class and then open them up during class. I've got a fruit versus color here, so I'm going to use my mouse tool to go banana, grapes, orange, apple, and then I can rub away some of my annotations 
using palm erase. Now going a bit more into palm erase, if you're in your pen tool, it will automatically detect your open palm as an eraser. So you don't need to switch between the two um, tools, you can just easily go between both using your palm. And you also have the pen to touch differentiation. So if I'm in my mouse tool moving the screen about, it's going to automatically detect my pen as a pen, whereas my hand can be the mouse and I can control the screen. You also have the ability, instead of using palm erase, to use palm reject mode. And the quickest way to get there is to press the little volume button. It'll bring up this menu, and then you can toggle from palm erase to palm reject, and put your palm on there and easily write whilst leaning on the screen. You also have the ability to use the back of the pen as a small eraser. So again, going to the volume button, bringing up this menu and toggling second pen mode to eraser mode. And that just means I can draw on here and then I can rub out really small with the back of my pen. And that's it for the Promethean whiteboard.